And why don't, don't don't pass the dog mid thing, dude? We cannot start every podcast talking about your dog. That's really biased. And you keep Sarah's picking game. him up because he cries. First of all, before we even get in anything, Shelby, why are you wearing that? Because it's it's the day after Christmas, the nightmare mm-hmm. after Christmas, it's the nightmare before Christmas. Yeah, but it's the nightmare after Christmas. You're wearing this. This is the day. You why didn't you wear this on Tuesday? Because we weren't recording. We no. We, we there's like, no we, video. Okay, fair, but I just think you're a little bit behind. I don't care. Are you wearing that all day? Yeah. But did you, you came with that. What do you mean? Did you wear the hat in the car? No, I put it on when I got here. Where are you going after this? Doesn't matter. Work. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm going to enjoy Christmas. Yeah. I feel like Christmas flew by, so why not extend it? How long do you think you can go off wearing Christmas clothes after Christmas? Um, probably like a week, two weeks, two weeks for sure. Now, it has to be at least before New Year's. No, you can still do Christmas stuff. My family had to celebrate once Christmas after the New Year's, so. Where'd you get the hat? Uh, Five Below. I had to get it for a work thing, so I'm trying to get my money's worth with the hat. Does it have like plastic in it? Um, there's like a metal thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can see it at washthethoughtshower.com. Uh, yes. We also need to talk about how you broke a table in here. Uh-huh. And you had Cheetos in the bathroom last night? Yeah. Shelly. So I, good. You were I'm winning your life or living your best life. I don't know. Both. And Again, the the odd thing about the podcast with Chewy is that he he's like me. I've said he either wants attention or he doesn't, and it's always right then. Yeah. Whatever reason, every time we go in this room, he thinks there's a party going on, and he needs to be involved. He thinks it's all about him, and then he starts crying, and I love him, yeah. I do, but like, it's a, it's a little annoying sometimes. Well, we're also going to get to uh, holiday parties, right? <clears throat> yeah. Inviting significant others and like people you're dating to office parties, which I have a strong opinion on. I, th- I think uh, we'll kind of get to that in a little bit. You- you just in the mic again? Yeah, it's just weird because, like, we moved where they are. Like, they used to be on the tables, and now they're not. Yeah, because you complained about where it was, and you broke the table. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> so I feel like this is, like, blocking my face, but if I, like, pull it out, it goes too low. Okay, well, I think we'll get through. And if it's blocking your face... We'll Why are you talking to me like I'm an idiot? <laughs> I think thinking we'll fix it next time, then. You're like, like well, you let me explain no. how microphones work. You could have fixed it any other time, but you wait until this thing started, and they're like, this is because a good time to start you were, fixing it. you sat down and hit recording when I literally was, like, over there. But I showed you what it was like at the holiday party. I don't, I don't at my remember Christmas party. the Christmas party. Okay, that's why I showed you. I was like, I was like make sure it's down, make sure it's good. You go, it's great, and then you got up and left, so... Did you also see my Santa costume? Yeah, I don't know where you found that. I found it in your garage. You were- like, I literally found it on the top. Like, So um, John in his garage, he has these huge shelves. Like, They're huge. Thank you. Way taller than I am. Yeah. And somehow, drunk Shelby, I don't know if I like climbed it, because like, it's it's a pretty heavy-duty like shelf. Yeah, I don't even know. I, like The previous owners left them there. So Yeah, so uh, basically, I climbed your shelf, probably, maybe, and I found these uh, this Santa outfit. There, there's uh, somebody at video, I think it was D, of you wearing it. You were just so proud of yourself. I was. I was really proud. I've never yeah. seen you be so proud about anything in your life, but that costume was like. There's a few things I've been pretty proud of. Like, yeah, the, the costume, I don't know. Certainly was, top five. It was like definitely like top 10 moment in my life. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we got to talk about you. You uh, texted me this morning. You woke up with Cheetos in your bathroom. Yeah. What happened? Um, I was hungry and I was drinking. I, got, I went out, you know, Santa. Had to go out last night. Good. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, I was out like doing like Christmas stuff. Um. Anyway, um, I just drank a little too much, and I guess I just really love Cheetos. I took them to the bathroom with me, and not like to use the bathroom. I brush my teeth, but like my toothbrush is orange. It's so gross. I just don't understand. Like, did you take a shower or bath or anything? No, I went. I went to go to bed, but I brought the Cheetos to bed with me, kind of thing. Like, and I guess you left them in the bathroom. Yeah, like I guess I was like taking them with me to sleep, but like on my way to sleep, I brushed my teeth, and it's pretty disgusting because my toothbrush I threw it away because it's orange. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and I know I could like have cleaned it, but it just really grossed me out. Have you ever slept with food? 
Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's like a normal like drunk thing for me. Like I've woken up with Taco Bell under my pillow several times. Like actually like and this is not a joke. <laughs> like a full taco or what? Yeah, like full like the full bag has been under my bed. Like no joke. Under your pillow or under your bed? Under my pillow. So do you think you were hiding it then? No, I think I just the like Taco Bell fairy came by and dropped it off. Like, I had this girl. thing where like I'm like getting like comfortable in bed. Like I'll put my phone under my pillow a lot, which I like, know can be like dangerous. Probably. Um, because I could like catch on fire. But like I'll like I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But like I'll get really comfortable and I'll start to like stretch out. And, like I don't know. I like to put my hands <laughs> under my pillow a lot. But that still doesn't explain how the Taco <laughs> Bell gets under your pillow. I think I was like drunk. And like getting like comfy, I I just like to have my hands under my pillow. So I think that I had like the tacos in my hands, like had them <laughs> under my pillow. <laughs> I don't know. No, like literally, like I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So I put the tacos under my pillow. You were truly a gift. Thank you. I mean, like Natalie, she was an old uh, cane show intern, and she had a old Jimmy John's sub in her bed for quite some time. So it yeah. could always be worse. Yeah, you know, yeah. I think Taco Bell is worse because no. the tacos can break up and stuff. No. Um, okay, but at least we're good now. Shred chicken burrito. It's cool. And I, I did I eat the next day. Yes, I did. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, you know, chicken tacos are back. They are. Oh my goodness. So a listener. Had never been to Taco Bell before. And he kept tweeting me about it. And I was like, you really just need to go. And finally, he went last week. And he got everything I told him to get. And he is now, a, like, he's in love. Like, I've changed his life. Yeah. I talked about this on my show. Like, how I'm changing lives. Yeah. You've changed my life. Thank you. Uh, get, I know. Let's get to bringing that people to office parties before this gets completely off the rails. Okay. It's not off the, the rails. shower with intern John. Come on in. The water's warm. And he's not wearing pants. Yes, he is wearing pants. He's wearing pants. Oh, if you're if you're watching this video today, Sasha took her hat off and looks amazing. If you're watching on the tube today. Okay, well, there's no mirror. There is a mirror. It's over there. There's a long mirror. It's over there. That I think, if I'm not mistaken, because you've been house sitting for almost two years. Yes. I got you that as a gift once. Yeah. As like for being at the house so much. Yeah. And I don't think you've ever used it. I don't have not, anywhere to put it. I say not that I'd be able to tell. Well, yeah, there's like the hallway because it has a stand on it. Oh, oh. It does have a stand on it. I did not know that. Are huh. you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I did not know that. I didn't not know that. I did not know that. Oh, you make me so angry. Why? Ooh, I'm. You know what? Ooh. I'm so cheery and jolly though, because it's Christmas time. So I am filled with Christ's love. I am. Was, I, it, was, that, was that saved? Saved. Yeah. Oh, that's such an underrated movie. I love that movie. I don't even know who the main character is. Oh wait, she's Mandy Moore. No, but there's the main character, the one that gets pregnant. I think she's Susan Sarandon's daughter in real life. Doesn't though, um, Mandy Moore walk to remember is basically a fault in our stars, right? Doesn't she? Isn't she mm, sick? Yeah, man, that's such a good movie. Is she dying? In walk to remember. Um. Yes. And How long is the walk? <laughs> it's pretty long. Um. <laughs> God, so, whatever happened to that Shane dude? What was his last name? Shane Dawson. No, isn't is that, that his name? That's the YouTube kid, isn't it? Yes, yeah. No, wait, what's the, no, the guy, like, the main character in A Walk to Remember, his John name. John Tucker? His name is, in real life, is Shane something. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. All right, well, Cosmo put out this list, because obviously it's a wrap-up, like, office holiday season and office uh -huh. party season. Do they have office New Year's parties? I bet you some places do. I don't think so. But, like, have you ever brought a significant other to an office party? No, I've, I've not had very many office parties in my life. When's the last one you went to? Uh, last week I went to our Christmas party. So I had two work Christmas parties. So I had the huge event that we had at the casino. And then last week we had our like in office party. And it's kind of funny because like <laughs> they were like, now it's time for our in office party. <laughs> I think it's funny. Cause like, <laughs> I don't, okay. I thought it was funny. Cause I was like, wow, like people in Baltimore, like really like the party. This is why I have a drinking problem. Like for sure. Cause like I grew up here and like, we're now having, this is our in office Christmas party. Like literally. And so we had an ugly sweater contest and I needed to know the prizes before I decided if I was like, going to go all out and like make a, par a yeah. you know, a sweater or if I was just going to wear this, which I wore this because I didn't need the gifts that they were giving away. Can I just say your voice sounds like you had a rough night? Okay, I did, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, it was Christmas, and I was celebrating baby Jesus, Santa going everywhere. And his tuxedo? Yeah. And you didn't his, notice my shirt. 
Minnesota things. That's cool. It's not Christmassy. So the, the Tina Range collection. That's. I mean, I I love Tina Range. Tina yeah. Range is a what do, what's her job like digital for digital T- and she's on the morning show in yeah, Minneapolis. Nice. Um, DWB. What? It's the jingle. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah, I was celebrating um, Rudolph. Okay. Zero. Yep. All that stuff. All right. So Cosmo has a list of like the questions you should ask before you bring somebody to the office party. Okay. My philosophy has always been I wouldn't bring somebody to an office party unless maybe like a beginning date. If it's a fun office party, if you go on like Dave and Buster's. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, I don't bring anybody around unless like, I, we're four or five months in and solid so that it can't be ruined by meeting my coworkers. I don't know why you would bring a significant other though to an office party. I think that's kind of weird. I think it's like if, if you're going out though, like people like brought spouses to my Christmas party. Oh really? Yeah, the like hoodie spouse girlfriend before. Oh, I, but I'm thinking of like work office parties. Like I'm thinking of like our work Christmas party at the casino. Would I bring a date there? Absolutely not. I, it, it probably depends on where it is. I because I spent my office party, the one at the casino, not last week's. Well, I guess last week's too. Um, networking because I want to. I don't want to be focusing on my date. I want to be trying to build relationships with people I work with. You're dating yourself. I am dating myself. I want to marry myself so people give me stuff. If you actually did that, I would have to stop you. I know. I know you would. I feel like I'd we've like, talked about this yeah, before. Yeah, but like, listen, like, like, I care a little bit enough to not let you embarrass yourself by, I'm going to marry myself. And for a second of all, I'm not going to that wedding. Yeah, no, I know. I just, I, I want gifts. Like, I, I think that I deserve some stuff. Um, I think that my friendship is a great gift. Thank you. I, I have to agree, kind of. Okay. Number one on their list is, do they know my middle name? So before that you go on the date, I mean, like on the work Christmas party date. I think it's because they want to make sure that you guys know each other at least somewhat. Okay. But I don't even know when the middle name conversation happens. What's your middle name? Just kidding. I don't want to know. Hold on. Bless you. Oh, bless me. I said bless you. Thank you. So do you just like throw it out there? Like, by the way, my middle name is like blah, blah, blah. You can come to my Christmas party now. Yeah, I don't know how you find that thing out unless like. I, I usually ask, like, if, if we've been hanging out for a little bit, like, it's, I'm going to ask you. You ask a lot of things. I do. So, like, I'm going to ask, like, so, well, and I'm going to do it, like, not in, like, an asking way. I'm going to be like, dude, <laughs> okay. So, Bruh. the last guy I dated, I would say that his middle name was Marie, <laughs> like, as a joke. Like, all right, Casey Marie. And finally, he was like, that's not my middle name. <laughs> that's actually, that's really good. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing that. Like, all right, Shelby Steven. <laughs> yeah, like I was like, okay, Casey Marie. He was like, okay, that's not my middle name. First of all, you're such an ass. I know. You are such like, especially <laughs> oh, if like man. if we were in an argument. Yeah, and you're like, all right, John Denise. That's yeah. like literally what I did. Oh my god, Shelby, <laughs> that is so infuriating. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, Casey Marie. It sounds like something you would do, and he was like, that's not my name. So yeah, that's how I found out his middle name is awful. I'm <laughs> just saying. Sucks to suck. Uh, number, next one on the list. Uh, have they taken you on a real date? That's probably fair. That's, if you haven't gotten on a real date yet. I would I would not want to take you around. Like, not that I have bad coworkers. So I actually have fantastic coworkers. But I wouldn't want to take you through, like, that awkwardness of having to hang out at work. And, you know. Especially if, like, if I went to, like, your office party mm-hmm. and, like, I was a random person. I'm not going to know anybody there. Yeah. And if I have no interest in like a real date date with you before, it's just going to be like two hours of just standing there with my thumb up my rear end. Like, what are we doing? Yeah. I And I think it'd be kind of like awkward if you don't really know each other well to be at something like a work Christmas party where you, you haven't even been on a date yet. Like, that, I think that's weird. And everybody thinks, everybody's wondering like, oh, so how long have you guys been? Yeah. How long oh, have you guys been together? Oh, oh well, we're not. We actually, haven't. we just, I haven't even taken her on a date. Yeah. I, don't, I think that's not. I don't good. even know her mill name. I don't even know I her middle Cla- name. I think it's Clarence. Yeah, probably. Oh, that's a good dog name. Clarence. Clarence? Oh. Mm. Next one on the list, have we spoken in the past month? Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Because if you haven't even really talked to each other, then you're going to go through, like, the whole, like, awkward Christmas party thing. I think that's weird if you haven't talked at all. Yeah, I think you've at least talking recently. I think at least two weeks. If yeah. Ever, if you've been talking, how about a week? Yeah. If you've been, like, texted in a week, don't. Don't even ask. I mean, bottom line, honestly, is if you haven't really, like, had any form of a relationship with this person, I don't think that you should be taking them to your Christmas party. I mean, I don't disagree. Because then, like, your coworkers are going to see you at work and always remember the time that Shelby brought the dude she didn't even know. Yeah. He brought the jiggle over to Christmas. If I had a coworker, like, like my friend Alyssa, let's say my friend Alyssa brought a random dude to our work Christmas party last week, I would have been like, what the heck? Yeah. 
Like, who is he? Why? Like, why is he here? Why did you feel like you should bring him? And not because like, I'm like defensive who people will bring to the Christmas party, but because like, why did you? Wait, did, did, that, did that get out of your hands? What? Did that? Did that? No, you did. I, thought... I don't know. I did. Ew! <laughs> Ew! Don't do that. <laughs> uh. She put her hand out. I gave a little tickle, 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 tickle. Okay. Anyway, um, hmm. I don't even know what I was saying. That was weird. The next one on the list is: Are you invited to their Christmas party? I don't want to go to your work Christmas party. That's weird. Okay. Unless we're dating for like, like, okay. So let's say we've been dating for like a long time, like maybe like a year. And I liked your coworkers and I knew some of them. Then I would want to go to your Christmas party. Correct. Otherwise I would not want to go either. Yeah. Unless like I was like, unless we hung out before and like I had at least three people there I can talk to. Yeah. If I've, if I've hung out with your coworkers and like I'm friends with some of them maybe, or I have like a relationship, then yeah, I would want to go to your Christmas party, I guess. But if I don't know them, then probably not. I think that this is probably the best one on the whole list. Okay. Do their friends and family know I exist? Yeah, because I think I think that if I brought someone that maybe I went on, like, let's just say we went on two or three dates, and I was like, hey, do you want to, like, I have this work Christmas party coming up. Do you want to be my date to it? And my parents saw, like, me in pictures with this random, this random dude, then, yeah, my mom would be like, what are you doing? Yeah, who is this person? Why haven't we met them? Why do you, why'd your coworkers get to meet him before I did? I couldn't do that because it's been so, it's been a long time since I brought anybody around anybody. Yeah. But I'm also getting, I'm very protective of like that. So like. Okay. If I was dating somebody, you probably wouldn't know for a couple months. That's so mean. No, you you probably would. But like I wouldn't bring them around the group until like we kind of figured each other out and we're like, we're somewhat stable. How am I supposed to, you're not good at dating. How am I supposed to figure them out? Just because I've been like 0 for 3. <sighs> you know, you've been 0 for 3 because you don't listen. What? Okay. What did you say? You know what I said. I didn't hear you. Yes, you did. No, cut, I'm yeah. not doing this. Audio cut out. <laughs> You're wearing like those like nice headphones. There's no way. No. <laughs> no. Uh, well, I'm just, I need to know what you were saying. Okay. I'm saying I tell you like that's a red flag and you're like, what? Can't hear you. And then you go out with them anyway and then they throw up in your car. Now, in your case. Or they are a cheerleader for the wrong football team. I'm like, that is such a red flag. Someone's watching like, what football team? You know, their ticket prices are $15 because they suck. There's just so many things I can say right now. <laughs> do you want me to keep going? Like, what you're not even defending yourself. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm like, we're going to need to do two video clips this week because that was really funny. Thank you. It's <sighs> true. Okay. The rest of the things I'm not going to say because listeners will be offended. You said the Redskins things? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? You're in the thought shower with. I wasn't gonna John. say the name of the team. Oh, I thought that's what you were saying. I was just saying their ticket prices are fifteen dollars because they suck, and that was such. A, that's not the sign that I told you that like that. It, there's just so many signs about that person. I saw a sign. Also, um, this will be a podcast for another time because you clearly don't look at red flags for you, friend. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about th that song because when I was a kid, I would sing that song on the playground and I would stare at the sun because I thought it was I saw the sun. So they wrote a note home to my parents because I literally it was, <laughs> it was walking around in pre-K staring at the sun at recess. And they were like, they wrote a note to my mom like, your daughter needs to stop looking at the sun. <laughs> This is why I'm special, probably. <laughs> Your parents like, we gotta make another kid. Yeah, like, uh, like she keeps looking at the freaking Listen, sun. We really missed the boat with this one. We gotta try again. Yeah, so I would like walk around uh, at pre-K singing uh, Ace of Base, just staring at the sun. So, yeah. So those are three ways where we <laughs> take your questions. Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, at Intern John Radio. Uh, first question is from Kim in Arlington. I know you guys talked about going on a break or vacation the last few weeks. What are you guys doing in your downtime? Ooh, um, I am not doing a lot. I've been working out. Um, I've I can been, tell. Thank you. I've been working out a lot, and um, I did an Orange Theory class last week. What? Orange. Or how do you say it? Orange. 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 I did an Orange Theory. That sounds weird. Uh, I did an Orange Theory class, and that was cool. Orange Theory sounds like a knockoff of Orange Theory. I did an orange theory class and um, that was fun. And then I've been doing makeup stuff and um, yeah, just, you know, the huge, but like focusing on stuff. 
It's exciting. Yeah, and I've been working. I'm going to be in Minnesota for a little bit with the fam, which nice. is always exciting. It's going to be better than last time, because last time I was only there for like three days, so I couldn't really oh, see yeah. anybody. Doing that, and then flying back, and then going to Tampa on... I don't know what day it is. Yeah. For the Minnesota football team plays in the or the Outback Bowl. Yeah. So that's going to be exciting. They have hockey too. I'll be fine. I'm going to try to sleep and do nothing and kind of just let my brain like process the past year. Yeah. I doubt that's going to happen. No. Yeah. You should like reflect, like maybe like write in a journal or something. Yeah. No, I'm serious. That's what my therapist told me to do. I mean, I would. I would. I haven't done it, but she told me. Can to. I just record it and you write <clears throat> it down for me? Um, mm, no, I don't think that's how it works. You have pretty handwriting. You know, um, so a few weeks ago, I met Lauv, and he told me I should start meditating, and it will help with my anxiety. I don't know what you're doing, <laughs> so <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Please don't touch me. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, what was that laugh? <laughs> <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> I'm like congested still. All right. Uh, sorry, next question. I might have missed it. This is from Angelica and Bradenton. I want to know how IJ's holiday party went. Looks like the videos in line were crazy. It was a lot of fun. If you want me to answer for you, um, well, that was the, offer, the question was offered to the group. Okay, I I think it was a lot of fun. Um, my parents had a fantastic time. Yeah, they drove all the way to your house yep. for a party, and it was my dad's birthday. Yep. And they they met um one of the salespeople. Um, his yeah. name is Cliff, and I guess Cliff didn't realize that they were the same age because he said something. My dad's like, "No, I was I was born in 1960," and he was like, "I was born in 1960." Whoa! So now they're friends, and they went to a concert last week together. It's exciting. Yeah. So I don't know. It was cool. I had a fun time. I got a little all right, chewy for God's sake. I got a little annoyed with people who didn't come, who yes. didn't bother to tell me they weren't coming. Especially because yeah. it's a white elephant party. You gotta wait to the gifts. So we yeah. did the gifts hella late. We did the gifts almost at 11 o'clock because we thought that people who said that they were coming were coming and then they didn't. And then so I called them out. And yes. I was like, oh, sorry. I'm like, all you have to do is send a text like, hey, can't make it. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Now we know to start everything else. Which a, a few people did do that. Right. And it was still a great time. Like, yeah. That was the only thing that annoyed me. Like, can't just send a text saying, hey, we're not gonna make it. Because we literally like waited for certain people to right. get there. Right. So it was like, oh, yeah, wait for this person, whatever. But other than that, like, it was a lot of fun. You found the Santa outfit. Yes. Um, the whole comedy gang was there, which is cool, because we only really get together for comedy, comedy shows. Comedy stuff, so it was cool to, like, party. So it was it was dope. Food was amazing, thanks to uh, the Hungry. The food was so good. The crab cakes, I the mean. crab cakes, I'm not mm. even joking, because usually, like, when you go to something, like, I've been to weddings where there's crab cakes, and they're not the best because they're made in bulk, you know? These oh, were okay. some of the best crab cakes I have ever had in my entire life. Like, no joke. Yeah. Not even just saying that. I put some in the freezer, too. Yeah, I, 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 I took a lot of them. What? Wow, okay. I, I wanted them for breakfast. That's fine. You get to work house sitting anyway, so yeah. that makes sense. Um, yeah, I think this year everybody took their gifts for the most part. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I try to think of the funniest gift that I saw. I don't know. My mom got this soup. With cock roost, soup. Yeah, with a rooster on it. Yeah, cock soup. Um, I think my mittens were my favorite, Priscilla. Oh, um, someone gave Cole. Toby gave Cole. That's funny. But he showed up also in Santa suit. Um, so the, the gift that I got was, you've seen it on like Sky Mall back in the day. Yeah. It's the putting set for the toilet. Oh, yeah. What did you get? I got, um, I, I don't remember what I opened, but... But I get I traded whatever it was. Oh, I opened Tito's. I opened my mom's gift. My nice. mom didn't even tell me like, "Hey, I brought that. Don't open it." But I got like Tito's, and I don't drink vodka, so I so I uh, switched it for cognac. You cognac? Yeah. You you drink cognac? What? You drink cognac? Yeah, I don't know where I, I like left it somewhere in this house, so I need to go find it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, final question from Jessica in Leesburg. We've been to Leesburg Tally yeah. Ho Theater. When was the last time you two got into an argument? Love the brother and sister thing you got going on. Hmm. Today. Hmm. Hmm. Today. Always. Every day. Because, you know, for me, my one of my biggest pet peeves. Yes. Yeah. You better wipe that look off your face. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> I am listening. But, but you doing that. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Tell uh -huh. me. Tell me. Tell me what annoys you. Timeliness. Mm-hmm. Being on time. Okay. Like, I'm not good at not being on time. You are fantastic at it. Like... And the worst part is I'm convinced that as I sit here, get ready, mm -hmm. and you're just aimlessly walking around, you do it intentionally to get me riled up. Yeah, because I said, you know, like I got here, I said, you know what would be a great idea? This, oh, this is so stupid. If we ordered food so that we have something to look forward to when we're doing the podcast. And you were like, oh, that sounds like a great idea. You didn't order food. 
Because there's food here. There's I'm still just, crab I, cakes left I over. I really just want a Chick-fil-A. Okay. You also want Popeye's last time we did the podcast. Okay. You want to know what? Next time we'll do it, man. I just were like, I'm really hungry and thirsty. I know you're thirsty. Um, what's, the, what's the last time I made you mad? I know you before before we get into this. Before you think about it, Jessica asked a question. I know it's hard to just for her sake think of something. I know it's gonna be hard. Just think of even the smallest thing. Um, once we were fighting, this was like two weeks ago, and you told me I was being dramatic and I wanted to kill you. Like I literally was like, "Do I run him over with my car? Like how do I get him in front of my car to run him <laughs> over? Like like why would you say that?" Well, to be fair, were you being dramatic? Like, the, there are so many things, like, not so many, but there's, like, a few things that you do not say to somebody when you're arguing. And one is you're being too sensitive because you shouldn't tell people how to feel. And being dramatic, oh, even Chewy's on my side. Are you, is this your time? <laughs> I don't remember what we were arguing about, but you told me I was being dramatic and I wasn't. You probably, your scary-ass smile right now, dude. If you get a chance to watch today's <laughs> podcast, like, and see the serial killer smile. Okay. Aww. All right, Chewy. Uh, you can follow Sauce. At Shelby Sauce. Follow me at Intern John Radio. You can watch today's episode at watchthethoughtshower.com. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Are you making fun of me? Because that's how you say at, at Shelby, Shelby Sauce. Sauce. Hey, and we'll see you on Saturday. Peace out. <laughs> More Thought Shower <laughs> online at thethoughtshower.com.